just starting my day off with a green smoothie. I've got some spirulina and some chlorella, which is the same color. That is a cyanobacteria, and it's also a blue-green algae, the chlorella, that is. I have moringa leaf, moringa olifera, more specifically. If you can tell what color that is, it's like a light green or a pea green. And I have some turmeric or some turmeric for some. That's what it looks like. By the way, I don't store these herbs in those bags. Those will probably be used up in three to four days. Uh, if you were to store these in any other herbs, for the most part, s stay with the glass containers and or jars and make sure that they stay away from direct sunlight and keep them dry. I also have pineapple in my drink. I have some 100% grape juice, some garlic, and I also have not celery, but I have some cucumber and some spinach in this particular drink. And I'm enjoying it. This is my breakfast for the morning. Looks kind of ugly at a distance. That's that green color, if you will. Okay. Try to start your day out every single day with something green as much as possible. Organically green, if you will. I'm not trying to promote the product. Organic green. But anyway, make sure that when you wake up in the morning, most of you who get up in the morning, if your schedule is in the morning to get up, that you, on an empty stomach, put something that's real in your stomach. Not the biscuits and gravy and biscuits and jelly and the fried bacon and the fried sausages and things like this and scrambled eggs. I mean, if that's what you do, it's what you do. But for the most part, if you want to stay healthy, you want to stay as much on the vegetable side than you do on the animal protein side. If you're going to do animal protein, make sure that you do it organically, not the processed stuff that you see in the grocery stores for the most part. Most of it has been tainted. Yes, it's true. But anyway, I start my morning off with a green drink. Typically, the things that I put in my green drink, again, are turmeric, moringa, spirulina, ashwagandha, chlorella, and uh, I also put in some Irish sea moss when I have it, and some fruit in the morning because when you're up and moving around, this is when you have your fruit, not in the evening, the later hours. You don't want to eat fruit late into the day because you're not up burning calories like you should be in the early part of the day. So your fruit is in the morning or early midday, if you will. Pineapple, blueberries, strawberries, uh, raspberries, if you will, and banana. That's your fruit. That's my fruit anyway. Or you can add even apple in the morning. I'm not saying that citrus fruit is not good, but as far as my smoothies are concerned, that is what it consists of most of the time. So again, let me break this down before I leave. In the tropical climate, they have a lot of fruit. So it's hot there. So fruit is a cooling fruit. When your body is a cooling food, when your body is hot, when you're up and moving around, it gives you energy and it burns calories. The fruit, you burn the sugar. Okay, now in the evening time, you're supposed to be less active in the evening time. This is when your body gains weight if you're eating fruit. So that's why we don't eat fruit in the latter part of the day. You want to eat it in the early part of the day when you're up and you're moving around or even exercising. Okay, that was it and that was all. If you have any questions on this particular mini subject, let me know in the comment section below. Brother Teacher out. So long.